Hey, today we're going to take a look at some of the best selections from Sony's 2017 TV lineup. We're going to start today with the X800E and work our way up to the A1E, Sony's first ever OLED TV. And along the way, we're going to take a look at the key differences in picture quality and performance. Here we have the Sony X800E series, which is the third rung up on Sony's TV ladder. This series, just like all the others, offers 4K Ultra HD resolution, high dynamic range, better known as HDR, and wide color gamut. Sony's smart TV platform of choice for its entire line is Android TV, and that's included here, along with a remote control that supports voice recognition, which helps with searching for content and pretty much anything else you might use OK Google for. As an Android TV, it also has Chromecast built right in, which makes getting content you find with your phone or tablet up on the TV extremely easy. This particular series has edge lit backlighting and it doesn't have any local dimming for those edge lights, though Sony does have good tech built in to make the backlighting more even across the screen than other edge lit TVs. This TV series also lacks some of the more advanced HDR processing found in models above it, but it still manages to make HDR content look good and it does a very nice job with general picture processing resulting in a gorgeous overall picture. For anyone wanting that signature Sony look, and it's a good one, this is a very approachable TV. This is the X900E, which is actually two steps above the X800E we just checked out. We chose to highlight this model because it represents the next significant jump in picture quality. Behind the scenes, this TV packs a direct LED backlight system, which means there's a grid of backlights behind the LCD screen you see. That means more even brightness and more intense brightness. The TV also offers local dimming, so you get deeper black levels and less of a glow around bright objects on dark backgrounds. That also helps with shadow detail, so you clearly see backgrounds in dark scenes rather than just black mush. Whereas the X800E we just looked at is a 60 Hertz TV, the X900E you see here is a 120 Hertz native TV, and that helps a little with fast moving movie scenes and sports. It's also more impressive for HDR performance thanks to additional processing and that more intense backlight system I mentioned. For my money, this is the best picture performance to price ratio you find in the Sony line. This is the X930E, and it's the best LED television Sony makes in the 55 and 65 inch screen sizes. Everything about it is better. It's brighter, it's got better black levels, better contrast, and it's in a sleeker package as well. Everything about it screams premium. The use of premium materials here is obvious. This stand is far more robust than the rest of the lineup, and that extends to the back of the TV as well, which has an entirely different design, cleverly covers all of the connections, and is much more attractive than the back of the other Sony TVs. Now, you might notice the bezel on this flagship TV appears to be bigger than the others we've looked at today. In truth, the bezel is a little bit smaller, but the pixels don't extend all the way to the bezel, so this black space makes it seem larger at first. What's more interesting, though, is that this TV goes back to using edge lighting. That might seem like a step backward, but Sony has a technology it calls Slim Backlight Master Drive, which allows very even and very intense brightness across the whole screen. In some cases, better than other manufacturers' full array local dimming TVs. This is the crown jewel of Sony's TV lineup, the A1E OLED. And unlike all of the LED backlit TVs that we looked at before, this has no backlight. The pixels make their own light and colors, and so you have an extremely thin form factor with perfect black levels and incredible contrast. That is just the start, though. This TV screen is the sound system. There are actuators behind the panel that allow this display screen to make sound, and it's super impressive. If a sound effect is correlated to something that's happening on the left side of the screen, for example, that's where the sound comes from. It's a lot more convincing to listen to and makes watching TV just that much more fun. Overall though, this is one of the best pictures you will find in a TV anywhere. There are some caveats though. In order to get this floating on its stand look, there's no traditional legs. Instead, the TV uses this easel style stand, which is also where the subwoofer lives. If you wall mount this TV, it's going to bump out from the wall just a bit, but that takes little away from this incredibly thin panel and stunning picture quality. Sony only makes high-end TVs, so comparing them based on specs alone can be really difficult. What we've shown you here today is that little differences in backlight technology and picture processing can have huge impacts on the picture quality. No matter which of these TVs you choose though, you know you're going to get a premium Sony experience.